He missed muffins. Hey, are you getting a cold now? Yes. Is your nose all stuffed up? Mm -hmm. Do you have a headache? Yes. Me too. Does your throat hurt? Yes. And my too. I thought you were all better. Mm -hmm. I did. I left my dress and my shoes. Brooke put her her red dress on over her pajamas. She's got red shoes to match, but I don't know where they are. Over there, buddy. I need that up. Always got to make noise, don't you? No, my shoes make noise. They're not doing that by themselves. It's all, see, my feet do, but my feet need whole help. You help. Well, first of all, that's the wrong foot. This one? Good. Put the elastic. There you go. No, do this one too. This is comfy. This hurts me a bit. Yeah, look, I bounce with it too. And I read my book with it too. And your hair's a mess too. Oh, I get. From the back, it's a mess. Yep. Okay, now do the other side. This side? In the back. Done. Nope, it's still messy in the back. Messy in the back. Yep, switch hands so you can reach. Keep yeah, going, it's a mess. My chest has a bow. Yes, it does. Do you want me to help you comb your hair? No, I got it. Okay, because it's still messy in the back. Do you want me to do the back? I do the back in this place. Do you want me to pull my hair out? Yeah, my dad got mouse Mickey Mouse on it. Minnie Mouse? Uh-huh. And I pick my nails. Don't pick it. Why? I now need my toes. I need my teepy toes. Teepy toes. Now my weak cord. I need to get my zippers. I like this book. Did you go with me too? Over. Okay, where's After. this, Emma? Looks like Cinderella. No, this my right coasties. Right, but this is Cinderella's coach. It was a pumpkin, and the fairy godmother turned it into a coach. This guy, I'm little. That's the fairy godmother? 
What's your name? Uh, Sari Gamma at all. Wait. Who's Sari Godmother, is she? Uh, horse. Who's that? Uh, Sarah. I was Sarah. And this table and this. Is this what she's eating for dinner? Mm-hmm. Eggs and... Look at the camera. And you cake. It down at your dress. And cake. And chicken. And... And... Can you see it in the camera? Yes. What's on the table? Uh. Can you see it in the camera? Mm-hmm. Look, can you see it in the camera? Cheese and... Where's this camera? Okay, give me Why? Just putting it all over the place. Can't see it that close. Is that Cinderella dancing at the ball? Mm hmm. What's her name? Prince Charming. That's a different story. That's from Snow White. Mm -hmm. British pants. The British pants. That's Snow, Snow White, and the King and the Queen. Mhm. Mm this whole mom, and this whole dad, and Sarah like got dad too. Oh God, Dad. Him, him, what's well, his name? That's Bell. No, what's his name? That's Bell's daddy. I don't remember his name. And what is he? What did we make? Uh, what is? What is that? I can mammal. Well, what what is. is it? What is? There's no lettuce in there. What is it? Uh, pizza I try camera. What's in there? Uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes. What else? And uh, habagol. No. What else is in there, Haley? Uh. Hmm. This is galaxy. I see, I see hot kato and those things. This is galaxy, galaxy. Cucumbers. Uh huh. Cucumbers. Avocados. Uh -huh. Avocados. This is onions. This is peas, galaxy. Onions. 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 What are they, Brooke? Onions. Brooke, your daughter wears me down. Don't knock her down. Did she you? can stand on that step. No, that get down. That you both won't fit on there. Oh. Onions. Yes, onions. Say onions. Onions. Say onions. Onions. Say onions. Okay. Onions. What are they? Onions. onions. Hey, sassafras. Your shoes are on the wrong feet. So we haven't vlogged much today. Um, we just had lunch. These guys are making a mess in here. Whoa.
why don't you pick all of that stuff up before it gets ruined? Who knocked, who knocked that down? Who knocked that down? Go pick it up. Okay. From town? Look at bug me. I wish I get my job done. Pick it up, Brooke. Put it back in the tub. Mama tub? Yes. Mama, the boy. Haley's got a runny, stuffy nose now. Mm hmm So she's the next one to get it. Brooke seems to be doing pretty good today. She's really sweaty, though. She's really sweaty and clammy, so I don't know if that's because she's playing so hard or if she still has a bit of a fever. So we'll just continue to watch her. And I, my stomach's feeling better. I was able to eat, um, but I'm still really stuffed up and my nose hitches and um, is runny. So we're dealing with snot. What'd you deal with today? Snot. Snot and more snot. Mine got up too. Mama. Are you snotty? Do you have a snotty nose too? Do you have a snotty nose? Do we have a weed nose? Where's this go a nice rip? Let's just take cane. So I just found out that my mom is in the hospital. And um, she's actually in Arizona right now. She spends winters in Arizona and um, summers here in Colorado. So my brother and sister-in-law are on their way to Arizona. And they are going to call me when they get there. She's got some some internal bleeding going on. They believe it's in her colon, but they can't do the colonoscopy because her blood counts are so low. So they're trying to get her blood counts up so that they can do the colonoscopy to find out where the bleeding, the internal bleeding is coming from. So that's a bit worrisome. I um, am a bit estranged from my mom. If you know my story, then you know that I dealt with. Why don't you guys go play? Uh, I need that. Uh, yes. No, go play. You just ate lunch. You're fine. You don't need a snack right now. Go eat lunch. Go play. Did you pick all those toys up off of the floor? I love you. Brooklyn, come here. Did you pick all those toys up off of the floor? You need to go do that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so if if you um, watched my draw my life, then you'll know that I went through some some childhood stuff and um, there's just my family's the kind of family that they don't talk about anything. Like they want everything to appear perfect on the outside so you just keep all of that in and you don't talk about it and um, you don't show emotion you just it's it's so fake that's the only that's the only thing that's the only way that I can describe it is it's so fake like my mom would rather be involved in my granddaughter's lives by sending them presents. She thinks that's keeping, that showing them love is by buying them things, not necessarily spending time with them. So that being said, um, and I know it's because of a lot that went on in her childhood too, but we don't talk about it. So it's, it was really strange because about a week and a half ago, 
I just had this overwhelming feeling that I needed to write my mom a letter just you know to tell her how much I love her and to thank her you know for for all everything that she did for me um, and you know just to let her know how much I truly do love her and and appreciate that you know she's my mom because I had a feeling I just had a feeling that I needed to do that so then when my sister-in-law um, contacted me today I wasn't terribly surprised that she was in the hospital so if you guys could all just um, keep her in your prayers I would um, be ever so grateful and so I I called Scott and told him that my mom was in the hospital in Arizona and of course he said you know if you need to go then we'll just jump in the car and we'll just drive down there and um, he's got vacation and sick time at work so we could just drive down there but I'm gonna wait and see what what my brother and sister-in-law find out when they get there they should be there by this evening so um, they should know and then I'll, I'll probably give my mom a call and um, talk to her quickly and you know just let her know that I'm thinking of her but yeah I don't quite know what else to think about that makes me sad you know I, I want to go and I want to to be there for her but I know the rest of my family um, aside from the brother that I do get along with or I should say the brother that does like me my oldest brother and me we don't we don't get along but um, he, he was very mean to me as a child he's actually very mean to both of me and my brother as a child as children but there's been so much other stuff and I I'm just the black sheep they don't want me there so um, obviously if my mom doesn't want me there I'm not gonna go push my way in and I'm not gonna go and make everybody feel terribly uncomfortable because I'm there um, it doesn't matter how I feel because I have felt uncomfortable around them my entire life so this would be no different of an experience but I'm not gonna go and be somewhere that that um, I'm not wanted. That's why, you know, a week or so ago, I decided that I was going to write a letter and just, you know, tell her that I love her and and that type of thing. So I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to sit down and write a letter and and get it sent to her. But yeah. I don't think she watches my videos. If you do watch my videos, Mom, I'm thinking of you. You are in our prayers, and I love you so, so much, and please get better. Please get well. Take care of yourself. Get some rest. And um, if you need me, you know you know that I'm there for you. It's, I'm just a phone call away. I always have been, and um, I love you. And I look good. Why don't you look good? Because I get better and worse I get back. Get sick and... Kitty's laying in the laundry. Are you laying in the laundry? 
Are you comfy? Yeah. 